In the mid-1960s, Sam Gilliam, an integral part of the Washington, D.C. Colorfield School, began dealing with the issue of freeing the painted canvas of its supports, giving it the freedom of a sculptural object. His restless curiosity had him break new boundaries in paintings and watercolors and sculptural objects. In Sam's first solo show in Asia, presented at Pace Gallery, his new paintings have a materiality that makes them appear to be made out of volcanic dust. So Sam, music, especially jazz, has been an influence or a part of your life. Do you play music when you paint? Because I see it in the paintings. It is like a session, I think, as, as musicians play, and that they have improvisational. You organize your colors and various things like this. You're a director. Yes. And we aren't certain now that I'm looking at this show is that we have white paintings. <laughs> yeah, they're white paintings of many colors. The color is very lush, and there's a sense of antiquity in mm -hmm. them. And there's an enormous difference painting to painting. I think it's nice that we're calling them white paintings. Well, but they're, they're hardly white. With acrylic, you can dry each layer of painting a building as you go. And that finally the white layer is perhaps the only wet layer, totally wet. And then if you rake or so, which is a way of revealing the undercolor, but when, when you say rake, you really mean rake. I really mean you a are real... You these paintings with, with a garden rake. Yes, a garden rake, because you can swirl the surface or do what you want or dig deep and pull other undercolors into the uh, surface. And it seems to me that you've pulled these paintings to the edge of abstraction. They go completely off the edge. It's amazing is that how airy a white painting is in a sense and how that it melts with the wall, the space and things like this. That's an interesting point that the white painting, it doesn't separate you from the room. No. It, it becomes part of it. Yeah. It's kind of an enigma, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all an enigma. Yes. It's a great one. <laughs>